welcome our host for today, Matt Pablo. Good morning, everybody. Wow, I am so happy to be here. I don't know about you, but that video was packed with fun. It just makes me want to go out there and have some Disney fun. Now, family and friends, stay with me because we have a lot of fun things in store for you this morning. Man, it is great to be here. Welcome, everybody, family and friends. Today, we are going to dig a little deeper on all the wonderful and incredible things, the latest things happening right here in Walt Disney World which make this the most magical place on earth. It's true, we have so much magic around every corner and we're opening so many new things like the historic transformation of Epcot. That's right, those walls are finally down, people. We can see what's behind those walls and what they've been developing for us and it is beautiful. We have a lot of things opening up like the grand opening of our new gallery, Portraits of Courage, a Commander-in-Chief's tribute to America's warriors at the American Adventure. We also have character dining at 1900 Park Fair and you can dance the night away at H2O Glow at Typhoon Lagoon. Disney Dreams That Soar, which you'll get to experience tonight. That's right. It's an all-new drone show, cutting edge of technology. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. We have so much entertainment this summer. And last night, you all got to experience Celebración Encanto. Is that right? Yeah, it's okay. Come on, you can make some noise. Did you love it? I loved it. Oh, yeah. That's what we love to hear. You actually might also get to see Joy from Inside Out 2 at Hollywood Studios while you're staying here. And The Lion King is turning 30. Where does the time go? Time sure does fly when you're having fun. And uh, the celebration of that home is right here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's so much on the horizon, and I just can't wait for D23. Hey, Grayson, how you feeling today, my friend? I'm feeling so good. You're doing great so far. Friends and family, this is my friend Grayson. He's about one of the most talented musicians I know on the planet. You taking request, request today? I am here for you. What you got in mind? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm feeling something country today. Something country. I, I think I know what you need. Ooh, that is getting me in the spirit, okay? Right on the spot. Man, he is the best. Well, family and friends, there's something that you don't have to wait too long for. I'm talking about Country Bear Musical Jamboree. That's right, it's right around the corner. Disney Imagineers have been hard at work inside Grizzly, Grizzly Hall and all the way out in Nashville to bring the Country Bear's next act to life. Let's take a look at this little video. We are here in Nashville on Music Row, cutting new tracks for Country Bear Musical Jamboree. We wanted a fresh approach to the show. To pay our due to country music. Taking the classic country bears, putting in this authentic country flavor. When I got to hear the whole concept behind the Country Bear Musical Jamboree, it makes me want to try everything, so I sure hope that it makes folks want to try everything, too. Try everything! Thing to try. There's a tradition to the Country Bear Jamboree that has to be respected. Multi-generations have been there with their families. You try to honor these songs and just bring high-quality players and then run them through some bears. <laughs> Look for those bear necessities, the simple bear necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean those bear necessities, that's how a bear can rest at ease. The simple bear necessities of life. Yeah, yeah. Put a star on that one, Chris. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that was fun. Family and friends, let's welcome to the stage some of the Imagineers behind this show, Jake Ellis, Brett Swain, and Ken Ricci. Hey, Jake, thanks for being here. Hey, Brett, come on in, have a seat. Ken, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, guys. Man, I am so excited that you're here. We got to jump right in. Uh, I got to tell you, Jake, the country beers have been one of my favorites for so long. Uh, this is this is a, a beloved attraction. It's a classic. Can you tell us a little bit about the approach behind reimagining it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well first of all, it was an honor to work on a show with such a legacy, you know. And um, it's it's a show that means a lot to a lot of people, including myself. You know, I, the, one of the first memories I have at Walt Disney World 
was sitting in my mom's lap in the back row of Grizzly Hall and watching the Country Bears for the first time. And uh, I absolutely fell in love with those characters, right? The heads on the wall and the commentary throughout the show and, and Big Al and, of course, Henry, our optimistic MC that, you know, just treats triumph and disaster with that, that chuckle, that smile on his face, you know? And uh, so we knew that we wanted to, to keep the ethos of the Bears, right? And whatever we did, we needed to keep them the Bears. And, uh, but we also wanted to, to uh, you know, rethink the songs in um, a way that was, you know, a bit more uh, diverse and, and kind of a multi-generational appeal, right? So where better to look than the Disney song catalog for, the, for those sorts of songs? And then Brett and the music team um, country fight them and spun them up in this really fun way. And, you know, I'm most excited about my, uh, you know, three-year-old son and four-year-old daughter getting to sit on my lap. That's got to be And amazing. introducing them to the Bears in their new form. And, you know, we're really excited for guests to experience this show. Jake, I love that. With the generations, you're experiencing this show as a kid. And now you get to bring your own kids to the show. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. got to be just so incredible. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, we can't have a brand new show without a new look. So i got to come over to you, Ken. Talk to us a little bit about the new design and how their new costumes helped that story well have you as you as seen in the previous video we have a team of figure finishers and customers working behind the seams to bring these authentic country did you just say behind the seams yes. oh man i love oh. it i love it where, the, where there's a mouse there's cheese anyways uh well, we well, have great. this fabulous design that kevin kidney and jody daly did for the looks that are based on authentic country looks that from legacy designers it's a glow up 50 years in the making. Oh, I love it. And instead of talking about them, let's show them. I love it. Who better to model the brand new looks than the country bears themselves? Family and friends, help me welcome some of the country bears. We got Wendell and Big Al over here. There they are in their brand new looks. Come on, family. You got to get a picture of this. Oh, they look so dapper. We got to get some lights on them. There they are. Those are incredible. You guys look so dapper. Come on. Hey, Ken, you were not kidding. They look great. <laughs> this is getting me excited. Thank you, Big Al and Wendell, for taking a break from rehearsal to be with us. Oh, yeah, absolutely, guys. We don't. We, we would love you having here. Uh, now, um, we cannot talk about uh, the Country Bears without talking about music, Brett. So what can we expect from the new sound? Well, the Bear Band's had some uh, memorable performances over the past 50 plus years, right? So we're reinterpreting classic Disney songs and this, in the style of pop country, Americana, bluegrass, and more. And we wanted to pay homage to country music. That's absolutely incredible. And you know what? I, I would love to hear one of those new songs like live. That would be incredible, right? Yes, I <laughs> hey, think that too. Family and friends, would you love to hear one of these new songs right now? Yeah. All right, I love it. Well, I have a real surprise for you, a real treat. It's my pleasure to welcome to the stage the voice of Trixie and one of our featured vocalists behind our countrified rendition of Try Everything. Family and friends, help me welcome Emily Ann Roberts. Hey, Emily, thanks for being here. You look incredible. I mean, you got to be excited. Emily, come on out here. You, you have to be excited to be coming to this role and being involved with the music. How do you feel today? Oh, man, it feels so good. I grew up in East Tennessee singing country music, and um, now we're getting to do a country song here at Disney, and oh, so I'm I can't thrilled wait. that I can't be a wait. part of it. Hey, uh, you know, my friend Grayson over here, he's really talented. Would you mind if he helped you perform this song? I'd love it. Let's do it, buddy. That would be incredible. Yeah. Emily, right this way, the stage is yours. Without further ado, family and friends, this is Emily Ann Roberts with Try Everything.
it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. That's what you sound like? That was amazing. She's a rock star, people. Come on. Emily, that was lovely. Thank you can you. have my seat after that. That was incredible. One more time for Emily Ann Roberts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now, Brett, you were not kidding about the music. I am loving it. So how did you guys go about getting these country versions of all of these beloved Disney songs that we all know? Well, to really tap into the sound, first of all, we reached out to Mac McAnally, country music legend. Of course. And uh, he was amazing to work with. We also had some other incredible artists, Allison Russell, Chris Thiele, and of course, Emily Ann Roberts, who's with us. Hey, I'm so excited. You know, uh, I'm glad you mentioned Mac and Allison. I think they're here with us today. Are they out? Can we get the lights up? Can we get the house lights up? Are they here with us today? There they are. Hey, hey, hey. go ahead. Uh, Mac, Allison, go ahead and stand up. There they are. Family and friends, how about a round of applause for Mac and Allison? These are some of the creators of the music, what you're hearing. Uh, go ahead and join our, our Country Bears family there, Mac and Allison. Thanks for being here with us. You guys are looking great. Well, all of this talk of the country bears, man, I'm so excited. I don't think we can keep it a secret anymore. What let's do you not. think? Family? Come on, let's tell them. Family and friends, we are about to tell you when we can return to Grizzly Hall and experience this brand new show. I'm going to get these guys to, to give you the news, but I need your help. We're going to count down from three. Come on, everybody. Help me out. Here we go. In three. Come on, we're making history. Let's take a photo over here, family. Oh, man, this is so exciting. We are going to get to see them with their songs all over again. And what a photo-perfect opportunity right here. Come on, everybody. you got to get this picture right here. we got the Disney Imagineering team, Emily Ann Roberts, the Country Bears themselves, Mac and Allison. You guys are looking incredible. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Give it up one more time for Emily Emily Ann Roberts, Jake, Ken, Brett, Mac, Allison, all of our country bears out here, Wendell and Big Al. Now, family and friends, you will not want to miss the Country Bear Musical Jamboree when it opens on July 17th. You better believe it is going to be a knee-slapping, toe-tapping, hand-clapping good time. And to commemorate this amazing experience in musical history, we have a little giveaway for you. As you leave today, you're going to get a Country Bear guitar pick. I cannot wait. Thank you, Country Bear family, for being here. We'll see you at the show. <laughs> wow. So many exciting things happening. Hey, Grayson, you still taking requests? Did I you just you. read my mind? I think I might have. He's a mind reader. I told you he was talented. <laughs> now, family and friends, I want you to come with me on a journey far away from Frontierland as we check out The Little Mermaid, a musical adventure. Here and tell us a little bit more and give us a behind the scenes look from the Disney Live Entertainment team. We have Sarah Schmidt, and James Silson. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for being here. James, good to see you. Come on, have a seat. Join us. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I love The Little Mermaid. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Let's, let's dive right in here. Uh, James, uh, we all know that there's a Little Mermaid show in Hollywood Studios. There was one before. This is not the first version of The Little Mermaid. So how is this production different? Well, Matt, uh, The Little Mermaid and Musical Adventure is an all-new theatrical production inspired by the classic The Little Mermaid. So we're telling Ariel's story that everybody knows and loves through her unique viewpoint as a young, empowered, strong heroine who, you know, heads off on a journey to find where she belongs. I, I absolutely love what I'm hearing here. So um, what, what can guests expect to see in this new production? Well, this is a really a brand new show, as I just mentioned. So uh, we've tried to build on all of those things that the guests loved from the previous one. But we've designed all new physical sets, built a whole new cast of puppets. Uh, we even added some beautiful visuals to bring the story to life in ways that, you know, we've never done before. And I'm super excited about that. Um, the other thing is, you know, of course, uh, I think the most famous part of Mermaid really is the songs, right? Oh, I mean, course. we all love the songs. So this will include all the songs from the previous production, but also two new ones I'm excited to, to announce. One is Daughters of Triton, 
And the other is a favorite of mine, Kiss the Girl. Kiss a Girl. And we got yeah. the mind reader over here already playing it. I love it. No, I love, that's, it that's one of my right favorite there. songs. I can't wait for that scene. <laughs> I can't wait either. <laughs> I see. Hold, let's see what we got here. What's going on? All right. I think we're going to have to share. Today. We're going to share. Oh. That's okay. We share. <laughs> the Little Mermaid has always been one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. Um, and it's been so much fun collaborating with all of our different teams on this project. So for this show, you can see in this piece, we've created an entirely new artistic aesthetic that connects all of our visual elements together. From the puppets to the performer's costumes, the scenic. And as you can see here around the proscenium, it's this really exciting new look that is a collage of all of Ariel's hopes, dreams, favorite things. Uh, I, I kind of see that. It, it does look like a collage. How did you uh, arrive at this style? Yeah, you know, as James said, we're totally focused on telling the story through Ariel's point of view. So it's all about... You know, a teenager would decorate their bedroom wall with things that are important to them, things that really tell us about their personality, and Ariel's Grotto kind of serves that same purpose. So it's all about fun and really diving into her bubbly personality. Um, and again, that's totally informed all of the visual design decisions that we've made on this show, including both our physical assets as well as some supporting digital content as well. I love that. Now, you've both mentioned visual and digital content. James, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, is this on? It is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Uh, well, uh, you know, we really look at technology as a way to enhance the show and make it feel even bigger. Um, so for, you know, example, uh, the concept of Under the Sea, um, Ariel, who is a live performer, is, t t is performing next to Sebastian and other characters who are all live puppets. And then they're surrounded by digital puppets that exist in the virtual space that have been animated by our team. So it's this perfect blend of reality and fantasy in a way that I think, you know, I think it's going to be really quite surprising for our audience. Um, so all the physical props, the scenery, the puppets, the actors you expect from all of our musical productions are still there in the forefront. Uh, you're going to see these large physical set pieces we've created, but they're all going to blend seamlessly with this digital environment. And it's really going to fill the stage. I, you know, it's, it's transformative. Um, and uh, you know, I say it's a bit, a bit magical. <laughs> it is. It definitely is magical. I mean, it looks like magic right there. How, how are you pulling that off? Well, we have, to, we have to lean into certain technologies, as I said. And one of the things we're queuing in on is a uh, motion capture technology, okay. which you probably have seen in many of our blackbuster films. Oh, yes, that looks uh, familiar. Wow. Yeah, it's that a great cool. way of bringing that character to life. So here you see on this video, an actor is wearing a bodysuit that has all these little sensors on it. There's a lot of cameras around her. It's taking in everything she's doing, and then it's going into an animated version of, you know, it could be Ursula, it could be King Triton, it could be... The sisters, these characters we haven't seen in our show before, fully realized, um, and so it's super, super exciting. That's that's incredible. I, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So not only are we going to see Ursula live on stage, but we're also going to see our team of incredible animators and visual effects designers take all of this motion capture performance and translate it into a larger than life animated version of Ursula that Ariel and Eric will be battling against in our epic battle sequence. Now. All over the show, we've really harkened back to animation history and the multiplane camera. So we're creating lots of different layers of visual that you can almost reach into and see all of the different layers of physical and digital scenic working together. It'll be super cool. Uh, cool does not even seem to cover it. I, I think Sarah said it best when she said epic. <laughs> that battle scene is going to be epic. Yes, I cannot wait. There's so many things that you said are, are just so exciting. I can't wait to see this show. Now, uh, you can't miss it, everybody. The Little Mermaid, a musical adventure on stage at Disney's Hollywood Studios opening later this year. Sarah, James, Matt, thank you so thank much you. for being here. Thank you for sharing. That was amazing. Thank you, Sarah. Come on, let's give it up one more time for them. Absolutely incredible. Now, family and friends, we've been on a journey, and this is the moment that you've been waiting for. Welcome home. There's so much history in these walls. And if you haven't heard, the Magic Kingdom is getting a brand new attraction. That's right. It's inspired by the Disney film, The Princess and the Frog. And since its debut, Princess Tiana has inspired all of us to dig a little deeper 
and pursue our dreams. Let's take a look. Tiana means to me perseverance, dedication, and a vision. Tiana has a love for her community, a love for her city, and that's exactly what we want to bring to this brand new story and adventure. This is where Tiana is from. She's inspired by people from New Orleans. Very important that as we're telling a New Orleans story, we want it to be really authentic. Being here gives us an opportunity to weave into our project that sense of celebration that comes with Mardi Gras. We are taking a deep dive in the culture in New Orleans as we represent the city as a part of our attraction. The story is so intentional. I'm excited about it because I get a chance to revisit the music of my youth. There's something that happens when you record with musicians from New Orleans. <laughs> the atmosphere is one of a kind. Everything is vibrations, musical, constantly moving a certain rhythm. It's like a party. I've never experienced anything like this. This is what it's about. The tradition of New Orleans. Feel the vibe. I want to tell you, when you visit Disney World or Disneyland, it will be authentically New Orleans. Now, family and friends, here we are with the executive creative team with a behind the scenes look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Carmen Smith, Sharita Carter, and Ted Robledo. Wow, what an honor it is to be here with you. I know that you put your heart and your soul into this project, yes. and you did, you did good. I want to send you a deep congratulations for everything that you've done, everything you've done. Now, this attraction, it's, it's opening officially yes. right around the corner, June 28th. I cannot wait. Now, let's, let's get started. Uh, Sharita, why Princess Tiana for this new attraction? Well, Tiana was our inspiration because Tiana is everybody's princess. She comes from a real place in America. She wasn't born into royalty. She has a working mom. She has military ties, and there's so much about her life is, that is relatable. Everyone can find an aspect of Tiana's story in their own story, and so many people are inspired by her. And you know, Tiana is a dreamer and a doer. <laughs> so speaking of dreamers and doers, last month we saw a story of a high school student who leaned in and was inspired by Tiana and made her own prom dress. No way. Oh, I see it there. I see it there. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. So of course, when we heard about uh, Layla's story, we had to invite her to be a part of this special day today. And I understand that Layla is here. She's here with us today. Yes. Layla, where so are you? Stand up, Layla. Layla. There she is, Layla, hey! <laughs> Layla, that dress is gorgeous. Man, we got a future designer over here. Keep our eye on her. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, Layla. Now, uh, I, I just love this idea that Tiana is a modern princess inspired by real places, real stories. Now, Carmen, what, what has it been like working with the Chase family whose family ties served as a real life inspiration for Princess Tiana? Boy, it is an honor and a blessing. Tiana would not be possible if we're not for Leah Chase. She was, yes. A dreamer and a doer, a working mom of four who followed her dream to run a restaurant. She and her husband, Dookie, ran Dookie Chases in New Orleans, but it wasn't just a restaurant. You know, it was a gathering place that inspired so many. Multiple US presidents dined there, so did Martin Luther King, Thurgood Marshall, Ray Charles, and even Dookie's. I mean, they sang there, the band, it was just amazing. When Disney Animation visited New Orleans and sat down with Chef Chase, they knew this American original was the perfect inspiration for Disney's first African-American princess. 
While Leah and Dukey are gone, their legacy lives on through the future generations who were a huge part of this project. Their children were our guides, her life, and her community. We even made her daughter, Stella, Stella Chase, an honorary Imagineer. Her son, Edgar, who sadly passed away this spring, charmed us with his stories about his party, his wit, and his community service. And you know, if you listen carefully to the radio broadcast in your queue, you'll hear Leah Chase, Kamata, singing, do you know what it means to Miss New Orleans? The whole family is in this. And again, we are so blessed to have him with us. That is just so beautiful to hear all the history and all of the stories that go into this. You know, it's great to see a beloved character come to life in such a new way. Uh, bringing it down to you, Ted, talking about the story. So what can guests expect with all the new story from the queue to the finale? Well, there's so much, Matt. So Tiana's Bayou Adventure takes place about a year after the events from the film, The Princess and the Frog. And so a lot has changed since then, and one of the most exciting parts of the attraction is seeing where Princess Tiana's life has taken her after that movie. So following the successful opening of her restaurant, Tiana's Palace, there next to the beautiful Mississippi River in New Orleans, she's continued to grow her business, but this time she's included members of the community and built a new beloved brand called Tiana's Foods. So, it's beautiful, I see it there. Yeah, it's, that's, that's amazing. So when you enter the garden area and, and, and start uh, the start of the queue, you're gonna hear a radio broadcast of a performance by New Orleans Musical Acts. And the announcer of this radio program uh, shares that Tiana is hosting a celebration during Mardi Gras season this very night. And everyone is invited. Oh, Ted, I'm glad you mentioned that because I think we actually have the audio of the, the radio broadcast right now. Can we play that? Speaking of which, you can take yourself to Tiana's Foods to meet Princess Tiana. All the big mans are booked and she needs your help finding musicians for tonight's big party. Tell her I sent you. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So what happens next? Well, as you just heard, uh, he also mentions that Princess Tiana needs our help for a very important task. So. Now, there's a lot to get done before a big party during Mardi Gras season. If you all haven't been to Mardi Gras, I have for the first time. It's like nothing else. And so, you know, it ain't a party in New Orleans without music or a band. So, in, in fact, as you walk into Tiana's office, you're going to see a to-do list on, on the wall. And everything is checked off except for hiring a band. And that's what, you know, we're here to help her with. So we're gonna join Tiana and, and, and Lewis for a fun and magical trip through the bayou in search of musicians. So after walking through this office and seeing all this great stuff that's happening over there, we're gonna head on upstairs to the kitchen and we're gonna smell fresh beignets. It's amazing. It's gonna make you hungry before you even get on the bayou. <laughs> and throughout the kitchen, you're gonna see all these wonderful uh, framed photos and mementos. Because Tiana, like all of us, when we bring people into our house, she's proud of, of, of people who have inspired her, her family and her friends. So that's who she's celebrating uh, here. You're even gonna see uh, her famous family's gumbo recipe there. And so, honestly, there are so many stories uh, and moments captured throughout this, this space. You're, you're really all going to have to do uh, repeat visits to really take it all in. So once, once we get on the attraction, how does the story can continue from there? Great. So after we board our boats and then we pass through this beautiful, lush lagoon filled with trees, plants, and flowers of the bayou, of course, uh, we're going to join Tiana and the jazz-loving alligator trumpet player, Lewis, on an adventure down the river, and we're going to be searching for that essential missing ingredient, which you know is musicians. So along the way, we're going to meet bands of critters sharing this diverse, the, sharing all of the diverse and, and rich sounds of, of New Orleans, playing their own renditions of these Tiana songs. And with the help of Mama Odie, who loves Mama Odie? 
Oh, oh come on. Who with the help, with the help of Mama Odie's special magic, we're gonna dig a little deeper in the bayou <laughs> and find all the musicians we're looking for as she shrinks us down to the size of a frog for a perspective of the bayou that you could not ever get unless it was with Mama Odie. And so as, as the journey and the talent search concludes, it's Mama Odie again who brings us back to our big, bold, beautiful selves and gets us to that joyful Mardi Gras celebration at the magnificent home of Princess Tiana and, and Prince Naveen. So here oh, we're going to be beautiful. celebrating alongside all the familiar friends a lot of, you know, we know from the Princess and the Frog, as well as all the new creator friends that we met along the way there at the Bayou and all these other guests who have come there to celebrate together. That is so incredible. That, that's beautiful. So you just painted this beautiful picture. We're hanging on your every word of this story. I can't wait to get on the, the attraction myself and experience it and see it all come to life. Now, uh, this story is incredible. Carmen, is there, there a way that Imagineers are extending Tiana's story beyond the attraction? Absolutely. You know, I'm so proud of the many ways we're telling Tiana's story, including all the new merchandise. We've worked together on with our consumer products partners so you're going to get a chance to see an, amu an, uh, an amazing array of, of products you know it is absolutely amazing and we've worked with them from the very beginning giving people a new and different way to experience and take Tiana's story with them as they've ridden the ride including huggable plushes of the critters oh look at they're so adorable oh yes indeed <laughs> You, know, you can hear they love it. I love it. <laughs> they are adorable. And you know, our partners at Walt Disney Animation Studios have also been amazing throughout this attraction's development. They are our dear partners and friends. And we're so excited that Tiana's story will continue after the attraction. And that's with a new show coming to Disney Plus. Wow. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> That, you just said some overwhelming things. I'm so excited for the show. I'm going to be the first one in line for all of these new products. I mean, I heard this whole audience is ready for that. <laughs> well, it's apparent that you all poured so much time and love into creating this experience. So uh, you visited New Orleans during multiple research trips. That's right. And Sharita, can you tell us a bit more about this process and where in New Orleans did you get your inspiration? All right. Well, first of all, we want to pay tribute to the fact fabulous city of New Orleans. Anybody from New Orleans here? <laughs> well, that's Tiana's city. And um, we want to point out, though, that um, our ties as the Disney company with New Orleans go back beyond this attraction. It goes back to Walt Disney with the um, opening of uh, New Orleans Square, which was one of the first major uh, expansions of our park. So that was really exciting. So we go way back when it comes to telling stories about New Orleans. But we had an opportunity and we actually sought out local artists and artisans that we wanted to collaborate with and be inspired by so that they could be a part of delivering this wonderful authentic guest experience and we have a number of them with us here i believe we've got sharita uh, sharika made malika favorite varian laurent daryl reeves and karina roca glad you could be here so this attraction is truly a love letter to New Orleans. And we think those that are from the city are going to really recognize that. And we hope that those who have not experienced it yet will look forward to experiencing it firsthand as well. That is incredible. I love it. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't, I can't contain myself. <laughs> uh, so for, for all of you, what are some of your favorite details or Easter eggs in this new attraction that you want guests to know about. Um, Carmen, let's start with you. Well, you know, being a Imagineer, detail is everything. Mm -hmm. And again, Tiana's new look for the attraction is truly special. Now, we took a meticulous approach to ensure it's both historical and accurate and authentic to the character. You know, Disney costume designer, Ida Muldrow, uh, she is an amazing and talented costume designer. You know, she was an instrumental collaborator. Tiana's party dress is fit for a princess. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that is just beautiful. Now, uh, Sharita, what about you? 
Well, I have a lot of favorites, Matt, but I'd like to highlight the fact that we have the opportunity in the queue line to do a salute to the military. Um, from the film, we learned that Tiana's dad was a World War I veteran in the Army, and we have photos of him in the queue, and you can see him in his uniform and with Tiana, and that's especially um, meaningful to me because I'm an Air Force brat, came from a military family. I know so many of you come from military families and so many of our guests, so this is a wonderful way for us to connect with those families. And um, my dad and sister are here, and they both ser have served in the U.S. Air Force. So. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Hey, family. That, that means so much. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> was that them? No, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, I love that. Uh, thank you so much for honoring them in that way. That's, that's wonderful. And, and Ted, how about yourself? Oh, man, it's, it's, it's practically impossible to choose just, just one. <laughs> of course. But, but, you know, one of the things I'm so proud of this team, uh, that, that, that this team on Tiana's Bi Adventure has done, is we've created uh, new and, and original characters. In fact, there's 19 new critters in Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Wow. Some are big, some are small, some are old, others are young. And honestly, I hope that every guest here has at least one of these new characters that they can make that special connection with. So, you know, one of my favorites is, uh, we're calling Gritty the Rabbit, and, and you know, she plays this washboard, right? But it's actually a found, found. <laughs> automobile license plate. Uh, you may even find evidence of this license plate being missing in the queue or the truck that's parked outside. So, <laughs> Well, we got to watch out for Gritty the Rabbit there. I can't wait yeah. to see all of them. <laughs> now, um, music seems to be a big part in the attraction. Um, Ted, can you, can you talk about that process? Oh my gosh, honestly, I'm, I'm a little biased here because my, my love of music run, runs deep as a, as a musician myself, and honestly, we could not be more honored to be working with the, the talent, talented musicians of, of New Orleans itself. So, PJ Morton, if you know PJ Morton, hey. has, has written and produced an original theme song called Special Spice that's performed by Anika Noni Rose and it is an it is an it is an instant Disney classic. Uh, everyone's gonna be singing this on, on, on the way home, I promise you that. And and even th if that's not enough, we're working with legendary Terrence Blanchard, uh, you know whom you know if you may not know this, uh, he was the actual person who played the trumpet parts for Lewis in the original film, The Princess and the Frog. But Terrence has lent his talent as a son of New Orleans and, and brought a, a, a new and an authentic uh, you know, feel for that, that beautiful music from the film as well as New Orleans classics. And that's what you're going to be hearing in the queue. Uh, I think there's other artists out there too from New Orleans yes, as well. Fact, like, uh, uh, right. Tonight we're going to be hearing uh, Tank and the Bangas, I think. <laughs> All right. We're going to hear them tonight too. Yeah, Tank yeah. and the Bangas. That's going to be incredible. I can't wait for that. Well, that is so exciting. Um, and, you know, I'm most excited to hear this original song that you keep talking about, Special Spice, written by P.J. Morton and sung by Anika Noni Rose. Wouldn't it be great to hear it live? <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, family. We have a real treat, a special surprise for you today. It is my honor to help, please help me welcome P.J. Morton and the voice of Tiana, a Disney legend, Anika Noni Rose! P.J., hey, hey, hey. how are you? Come on over here, come on over here. Anika, thank you so much for being here. Come on, please join us, join us out here. Anika, thank you for being here. It's an honor to be with you. I have to ask, what is it like to be returning to Tiana to tell this next chapter in her story. Well, it's awesome. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so many people for so many years were sending me messages like I had some power, asking me when this was going to happen, and I couldn't say anything. All I could do was hope with them. So to finally be at this place, to be able to unveil this, which we had been hoping for for so long. It is really wonderful and it keeps Tiana and her legacy alive yes. in, a, in a really different way. Yes, that absolutely, you said it all right there. It's surreal, it's yes. surreal. Thank you for being here. And, you. and PJ, you've gotta be excited, man. What, what's it like working on some of the music for this attraction? 
Oh man, so exciting on so many different levels. You know, uh, Disney is all about dreams, you know, and, and dreaming. Absolutely. And this is truly a dream come true for me wanting to write songs for Disney as a kid. And then on top of that, I get to represent home in New Orleans. And so, um, nah, man, I'm just over the moon. We're doing and, it, we're doing it, man. And I, and I know, yeah, come on, give it up. <laughs> Now, I know you brought your band with you to help perform this song. Is that right? I did, yeah. All right, let's get them up here. Band, yeah, where are you guys on, at? Come on. Okay, come on up here. BJ, that. help that's me. Ed, yeah, that's Ed. Yeah, that's Ed. That's Nick. Ed, Nick. Brian. Brian, what's going TJ, on? TJ, who we got? Again. John hey, Michael. Hello. Julian. Juice. Hey. Yeah. Hello, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being here. All right, come on, PJ, you can get set up over here. Anika, this is your spot. The stage is yours. We cannot wait. Now, family, without further ado, this is it. This is it right here. PJ Martin and Anika Rose with the original song, Special Spice. PJ Martin and the legend Anika Noni Rose with Special Spice. You heard it here first. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much to Carmen, Sharita, and Ted. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. Anika, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much, PJ. Great job. Thank you for being here. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You sounded great. That was amazing. <laughs> now,
family and friends, you're going to get to experience special spice and all the wonderful things that we talked about today. And I'm going to see you this evening at Tiana's Neighborhood Sunset Soiree, right around the corner at Frontierland. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, Grace. And I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you, family and friends, for being here. You can exit to the right of the theater. And don't forget to pick up your special gift, Country Game Bears Guitar Pick. Have a magical day at the most magical place on earth. I'm Matt Pablo. We'll see you at the party.